Camera action. It has been lovely to see everyone. It really has. It's been a long time since I've seen any of them. It's just been a joy getting to relive it all. Take a trip down memory lane, I suppose. So it's rather strange to be back here at least, and to be honest with you, it's been a while, and it's been great seeing everyone. I think this is the perfect time to sit down with everyone and reminisce. We get the chance to hang out with each other, which has been a real privilege. Being in the Great Hall with everyone earlier was just incredible. You see everyone's faces, and it's just lovely to be here and just share this anniversary together. It's been really special. We could kind of celebrate and just enjoy being together. It's been lovely seeing everyone again and going like, oh, yeah, we're all doing great. It's a weird experience because you met them as kids. Obviously, they've grown up as they should have, and it would be really weird if they were still the same age. All the memories of working here come flooding back. It was like it was last week. It doesn't feel like 10 years ago at all. The whole studio is obviously much more glossy than when we filmed on it, so it feels different. So they used to build Rolls-Royce aero engines here. Apart from that, it was just sheds. It wasn't soundproofed or anything. We pretty much heard everything that was going on around. The studios were leaky and they were very makeshift. It was not ideal shooting situation, but we loved it. We had a great time. It's the greatest playground in the world. The fact that there's people who've traveled from all over the planet to come to where we are right now because they love Potter, it's just incredible. It's pretty cool to see that the Potter flame is not being doused at any time soon. All of us on the set were as big of fans as you could find outside the studio. It's a really important part of all of our lives. To be on the sets and kind of live it for real was just an absolute dream. I've just been pleasantly surprised by people enjoying everything that we made and that we created. There's so much of life to take in that happened in those 10 years. Every part of my life is connected to Potter and you've seen even more how much it means to people and what a part of people's lives it is. It means even more now and I'm able to appreciate how special that is. We screen tested the three of them together to make sure that they all had this chemistry, which immediately was obvious in the first screen test. Remember, guys, get closer to her as she finds out the information. And action. I never thought to look in here. I checked this out first term for a bit of light reading. This is light. Shut up. If Filch comes around the corner any second now, at least 50 points off Gryffindor. Do it. Here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The, the what? what? Oh, honestly, don't you two read? Uh, good job. It's lovely seeing you. Yeah, this is surreal, isn't it? How do we all feel being back and talking about this? But A, really emotional. <laughs> obviously, and B, um, it feels like no time has passed and loads of time has passed. I always loved the character of Sirius. I love the relationship Harry and Sirius have. He's like this cool uncle, but also older brother figure. Yeah. And he's painted as this villainous guy and then has the switch where you go, oh, he was set up and he's a good guy. And he's so kind and so warm and And he's and cool. warm and kind yeah. and he's kind of cool. Yeah. I wish I'd had the whole picture you know, we only ever found out book. Yeah, book, book. I don't know whether you were because you not. were Harry Potter. Just Rickman. You had a, Rickman did, you, that was it. Rickman? He had the inside line. He worked that way. I did, he very, very early said to Joe, he was like, I think oh, I need to know what happened. I need to know. Give me a read. I beg you. Rickman would have an in, wouldn't he? He did, yeah. He, he, and he never told Chris, never told anyone. He would, Chris would literally say to him, why are you doing that like that? He said, I'll tell you later. <laughs> 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 I adored Tom from the second I met him. He was always just the biggest sweetheart. Working with Jason was a real treat. In fact, working with Jason was not always a treat. It just immediately turned into the most unfriendly, horrible person I've ever met. I just remember grabbing him and, and just being as unpleasant as I possibly could and watching his little face, constantly seeking my approval. The very first scene that I shot was actually cut and it was on the deleted scenes. Draco touched something and I used this cane and I went... Don't touch anything, Draco. But I didn't know how sharp the teeth were and they went right into little Tom's hands. And he looked up at me and his eyes welled with tears 
Yes, father. And I went, Tom, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize how sharp they were and how heavy it was. And he went, no, no, it's all right. It's good for the scene. He'd be this evil father. And then they say, cut. And he'll come and give you a cuddle and say, oh, did I, did I hit you too hard? Did I hit you too hard? He's a real, uh, you know, Jekyll and Hyde, that one. We work very much just like kids being kids on a set. Mm. My residing memory from the first, from Philosopher's Stone is I just learned how to play Slam. You know what we did a lot of as well was that. Oh game. my god, so slaps. much oh, hand slaps. slaps. Yeah. With like both all of us like red, like yeah. red I think raw we also hands upgraded to like, knuckles as well. Each other and really we're like, hard. Oh and shins. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember yeah. the shin version. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> They probably made their jobs harder for themselves by letting us have as much fun as we had because it distracted us from, you know, the work we were supposed to be doing. And for the other viewers, get a mouse trap. Don't put it on your nose. Don't worry about it. Like a big problem was like throughout a take, our attention would like would wane and come and go. They say a line and then they'd smile at the camera or they were just so happy to be in a Harry Potter film that they couldn't contain their excitement long enough to focus on an entire scene. Last night I thought, I'm gonna just dig up these things and I asked for your autograph. Oh God, what did I write? No, read it out. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> what does it say? Uh, uh, dear HBC, yeah. it was a pleasure being your co-star and coaster. <laughs> Wow, what a, what a clever pun I made when clever. I was young. I mean, I'm honestly still kind you of were pleased poetic. with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the sense that I always up, ended up holding your coffee. I do love you. Then what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> you can share. Oh, I can. We can share this. Now, I said I do love you, and I just wish I'd been born 10 years earlier. I might oh, have been in with a chance. It's all right, then. <laughs> Lots of love, and thanks for being cool. Isn't it nice? Mysterious thing, time. When in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are.